You may have started to notice the return of a pesky, but also destructive pest. And we're talking about the spotted lanternfly. Yeah, it's back. Researchers working out of the University of Delaware are actively studying a solution to control their population. And at least the idea is to get their predators on patrol, huh? Yes. Cue the natural enemies, parasitic wasps. Here's what I learned today. The spotted lanternfly has no natural predators here in the United States, but there are two wasps in Asia that do know how to handle this infestation. Um, one is called an egg parasitoid. So a parasitoid is a term for these insects that lay their eggs on or in a host organism and then complete their development in them and eventually kill them in the process, right? So we always use the reference to the movie Alien where that thing bursts out of the guy. Um, this is happening all the time in nature, but at a very small scale. Um, and so these types of insects can be really important in regulating their host populations and keeping them low. Yeah, if you give me a cinematic reference to a scientific story, I got you. The other type of wasp attacks the lanternflies in the nymph stage. That's basically like when they're little babies. Researchers at the University of Delaware are now studying these two wasps in a very controlled environment. Um, and so right now we're kind of in the process of doing the risk assessment uh, that it's a multi-year process to see, okay, would these things be effective at controlling uh, the spotted lanternfly here? Spotted lanternflies are proving to be a serious risk to agriculture with the potential to cause more than $500 million in damage to crops, especially grapes and vineyards. Two notes, the experiments are showing some promise and these wasps, I'm told, do not sting. We'll be right back.